Now this is interesting. I could have sworn this calf was weaned. I haven't seen her even try to nurse in a, <laughs> a long while. But here we are, I pulled up to water the animals and she's getting a drink. You can see the calf's almost as big as her mom. So like, I'm amazed at the condition that our cow is in. Given the, um, the forage ability of what we're eating on right now and then, um, you know, t she's been nursing for a while. I don't know, maybe it's just a periodic thing. But it's fascinating. Shows what I know. It's a uh, it's a good lesson to come and watch your animals more than once a day if you can, and to spend time with them. You get to know what's really going on by just stopping, moving for a moment, and being in the in in the situation in the in the moment with your herd. I always like watching calves nurse. I don't know. It's really comforting. Our cow is in the condition she's in. Look at the size of the calf that's on her right now. Really happy I kept the one that I did. I had a couple of different options for the one to keep to breed our own meat. And I kept this one because she has short legs and a big gut. And uh, she is a patient animal. You can see, I don't know if you can see out here, I had like a a smaller bale wasn't like quite full size and we had some warm weather and I wanted to try to give what remains of my stockpile a chance to come back around and um, so I fed out that bale I'm actually gonna go scatter some the rest of it see if they'll eat some more of it and then we'll get back on our rotation tomorrow they've been in this spot for a couple of days so there's one set of bales and I got another set of bales over there and then this whole row up here I just put them everywhere there was a long strip of bear patch I don't know if you guys can see there's our dog, house dog just rooting around she keeps eating mice good on her I guess well that's all you got huh girl I think well, I guess that explains why this calf constantly has <laughs> cow crap on her head. She's nursing from behind, which is the danger zone. Here, I'm going to see if I can get off the four-wheeler without startling her. We can get a better look. I don't think there's much left in there. She's trying all four teats. Not a lot of luck in there, girl. Yeah. I think I have to think that that cow is mostly dried off and this is just looking for comfort. I don't see much milk on the cow's mouth either. But it's really interesting. I know it's super windy. I might have to do a dub over this. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm sitting with the Rams, the Rams, <laughs> and the puppies. Hey, pup. What do you smell? Sitting with the rams and the puppies. It's a weird day. It's 75 and it's gonna crash down. I, the wind is the sound of the weather crashing down. <laughs> you think he's ready to go? He's got a month left before he can go. That ram is ready to go. That's our Greg Judy ram. Sorry, I'm sorry the camera works so bad. I got a, I got a puppy jostling me. Here. I 
I'm just enjoying. <laughs> All right, girl. I'm just enjoying a nice time with my rams and my pups, and the weather's gonna crash down. The weather's gonna crash down tomorrow. It's gonna be 30 degrees probably, it looks like. I don't know. It's these little moments. You just gotta treasure and own. So much of this job is annoying and terrible. Not terrible. Difficult. You think he's ready? Sorry. Dog's in the way. That boy right there is his son. Puppers out. Come on, puppers. Come on, Bob, you can do it. What a good time to be alive. What a good looking dog. You can see none of this ever came back after my last grazing. It's just shut down. The uh, winter has finally come full force. These are our guard pups, kind of keeping an eye on them. We have a couple of rams and some weathers that are going to slaughter here next week. And we got uh, our guard dogs in with them. Hey girl, hey boy. There's the old big rangy one right there. Just feeding them a little bit of hay but as they finish out before they go to the butcher shop. But, uh, yeah, we've, it's been snowing, for, you know, real light. I mean, I don't know if you can see it for, for, for about, oh, I don't know, for three days. But it just keeps warming up just enough to keep melting off. So today is mostly about just checking on the animals. And, uh, <laughs> the dogs are no worse for wear. Checking on the animals and making sure everyone's in good condition and making sure they're getting enough. We're grazing our last strip uh, with the main flock. You can see some of them up there and feeding a little hay at the same time. So I just want to go and check to see how they're doing. Um, is interesting. This is my, one of my daughter's lambs. And I think you saw in the last video, she is a real fence hopper. She's a dorper we picked up and Madeline bottle fed her. And so she's just a little too friendly, I think. And um, she started f figuring out she could hop my fence, which, you know, it, that's that's the answer. So we put her up for sale, and we're going to sell her to someone here pretty quick. And she's not bred yet, but they, you know, they can make a choice about how they want to breed her up. Because we're about a month away, I'd say, from breeding time. But she, I just put her in my corral and um you know just to keep her i mean she's right next to the ram so she doesn't feel totally alone but i don't want her getting bread before we sell her so especially bread this early it's like middle of november right now so anyway we'll take a couple more shots and just kind of go through the day-to-day -day of this kind of nasty it's like 30 but it keeps going between 30 and uh and 32 see that the dogs are playing on this old dog house from our house dog but they don't really use it they don't seem to care um, anyway it, it's not getting too cold but it's cold enough that the snow is just continuing to come on down nice and slow but anyhow we're getting after it uh, one more thing <laughs> with this you in here right here uh, you know, I built this corral 
I think beginning of the spring and it's pretty sturdy it held the bull trying to charge through it but uh my big ram he is ready to breed because he smelled this girl and got his head stuck in here so far through this you know I put just some panels on so I can use this for sheep too <clears throat> I had to cut it out I tried to pull him by his back legs hey girl and every other thing and he just couldn't get out so I had to care, very carefully get the angle grinder and cut those open so I could pry his big fat head out um, he's a brute he's the one we got from Greg Judy a few years ago uh, I was gonna have to drive down there and George Heller was down there buying some sheep and he very kindly offered to drop him off at our place which is really nice of him so anyway in pulling it off look he pulled out of this thing so hard it pulled fencing staples out. So I'm going to have to staple this back up here before I head over to the use. All right. Okay, so we're out at the main youth block. And uh, this is all the use we're going to take through the winter. We culled out that fence jumper and we pulled some of the wet remaining weathers out. And then... Um, so this is this is what we're gonna take through, and they're a nice set of use. It's amazing their demeanor changes, like when we switch into winter feeding, because they somehow know that in the summer they <laughs> they can get their own food, but in the winter they're kind of beholden to me. So this is this is where they are right now. So I'm going to probably tomorrow, there's some feed left that they have to paw through, but they've been on this one round for about th three days. So I'm going to, I'm going to probably pull this round off right here and start unrolling it um, back in here to get the carbon spread out and uh, they'll pick through it. So we'll feed two more rounds in this paddock and then, um, boy, they're just watching me, aren't they? Hey girl. Yeah, you're a nice tame sheep. This is one of my older ones. I have four of my original five remaining. <sighs> right? One, two, three of my original four, four remaining, and one they're my first lamb that I had from that same year. So, this is this one and this one, and that one getting kind of bumped by the calf back there are the originals, and the rest of them all come from those. Well, those three and the one that died this year, so. Uh, I know to some people this looks bleak, but I think it's kind of beautiful to see the whole world quiet down with snow. And you can see it really is plenty warm. Their water's not nearly in danger of freezing. So... That's all the water they take. It's really amazing. I think I think uh, sheep eat a lot of snow too. So anyway, that's what we're dealing with. We're gonna uh, send them up this way over the course of the next week or so, and we'll go from there. All right. <laughs> well, I decided to unroll a little more hay because I just wasn't sure what I had under the snow, and I'm glad I did. They they weren't mooing at me or bawling at me or acting distressed. But they're definitely hammering it. So you can see old 14 doesn't mess around. She wants her portion. That's my my family cow right there. She's a nice one. I know I was talking to some people again. <coughs> excuse me. About how I don't use a barn or anything like that and I don't think most people really believe unless they come out and see how comfortable these animals are in this 30 degree weather. It's kind of snow sleet right now. There's nothing that they're sad about right now. I mean, this is all good hay. My friend and neighbor Doug, he uh, he bailed this hay up for me. And uh, in a year with some drought, he gave me a fair price, which I really appreciate. And... Uh, Anyhow, I'm just going to have, this is my first year using rounds instead of squares, and squares are just a little bit easier to understand what you're giving them. And so I'm just playing it by ear and trying to retrain my eyes to 
what they should have or what they want or you know that sort of thing but uh anyway it's getting very dark but there are moments where you, even in just shit weather it is peaceful out here oh my goodness